Hello everyone, my name is Terepism and welcome back to XCOM 2. Last time uh, Avenger uh, got shot down and uh, we defended it uh, from uh, alien uh, assault that uh, started to get a bit of out of hand, but luckily we made it uh, and only lost uh, John Harrison. Everyone else uh, made it out okay. And seems like uh, Kepler's uh, needing uh, some alone time here. Usually you see him uh, behind the counter here. Anyway, like I was saying, only one who died uh, last episode was uh, Harrison. And uh, that was his uh, only mission he was on, so... <laughs> Sorry, not everyone can become a hero. Anyway, last, what we are going to do this time is uh, trying to get that uh, scientist uh, we were trying to locate the last uh, episode or two episodes ago before our actual mission. And after that, uh, we are going to need to head out uh, to New Mexico and uh, get this uh, alien facility. Oh right, we also need to build that uh, resistance comms facility before we can actually make that contact. So anyway, Avenger let's head out uh, and get course. that uh, scientist now. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Yes, we got new weapons. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Looks quite useful. And uh, probably quite expensive too. New item available, magnetic rifle, shard gun, shard gun and mag pistol, and new research cause weapons. Okay, so what the next we can uh, actually build? Mag pistol, based on the advances in magnetic weapons tech we achieved, this new pistol boasts a substantial improvement in power over our conventional pistol. Sword gun, magnetic weapons technology, technology will let us synthesize alien alloy fragments into a spray style projectile and our rangers can use it to dramatic effect, the closer the better. So basically shotgun. And magnetic rifle. Magnetized projectile tech has enabled us to create rifle style slug throwers. They represent a substantial improvement in power yeah, in power relative to conventional assault rifles. Let's see. We got the Viper Autopsy, Plated Armor, Psionics and cause weapons. Hmm. Let's see. I think it's time to think about the uh, defense a bit and uh, let's uh, go with plated armor research. It's going to take uh, 20 days, but uh, we might as well uh, get it done. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get that scientist uh, to help uh, him out soon. Apparently my predecessor was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and autopsy of alien subjects. From what I've heard, she was keen to get her hands dirty whenever possible. Sounds like a wa Sounds like a Valen. Valen. I you can know, pronounce names today. I probably wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father. 
He was uh, something of a miracle worker. Getting the Avengers power back online was a miracle. I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. Only one day. And we also cleared that uh, room. Maximum power consumption reached. I think we might actually wait uh, a bit before starting building anything. Oh, it's quite uh, it's quite a long way to go to get this one cleared. So can we actually staff uh, Aristotle here and increase power that way? Yes, we can uh, get five uh, power more. Like that. And now we can build something here. Except we lack supplies to do that. Let's get that scientist and then see if we can sell anything at the black market. About our project uh, going uh, up one. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We are trying to do that. And we got skull mining done. Let's see what uh, project we can uh, make here this time. I was uh, thinking of making more of this experimental ammo, but uh, it takes uh, that grenade slot, uh, which also is uh, useful. So, and we got uh, one uh, grenade coming up, so I think we are going to keep uh, making those instead. I'll make put, uh, I'll let you know one another. The is ready for deployment. Another one of uh, those experimental grenades on the production. And maybe finally we can get that scientist. <laughs> there we go. Among the last uh, of the holdouts in this area, a small group of resistance fighters known as uh, the Fire Axis made contact while we were scanning the region. One of our soldiers claims to have known several members of the elusive group and uh, was able to recruit one of their scientists uh, to join Dr. Tygen's lab. Dr. Edward Jenner. I I can't remember if uh, that's one of the characters I have made. But setting course for the Western US. Somehow precinct. it looks uh, like one of those, but I don't remember where he what he is known from. So, let's see. I think we might actually, like I said, we better go and check out that mar black market, but Welcome, let's see Commander. anything we can uh, do here. We are going to need those supplies for something else instead. Avenger plotting new course. Let's check a black market then. Market is open. Can we get we need a little bit more intel for that? So Can we afford to sell anything? Hmm. I'm kind of uh, tempted to sell one of these, but uh, we haven't uh, yet researched these, so I I don't think uh, 
it's a wise choice yet. So let's just... Uh, how much intel would uh, we get from here? Well, Avenger that's our best choice. Let's get those that intel from here. Ah. Advent retaliation time. Setting course for the Eastern U.S. precinct. Let's see what kind of squad we can uh, get this time. And can I? Give you that pattern so you want it. Yet or not yet, just yet. Except on a weapon. I think you. I can give you that. Uh, it was wild if I remember right. And uh, you wanted uh, it to be somewhat blue or red. So, I'll switch up that. Hopefully that is okay for you. Anyway, now let's get the squad properly set up. I'm going to keep uh, Da Vinci with us. But... Uh, Let's see... Copernicus, you have been... Uh, I don't... I don't uh, need uh, two or three snipers uh, on my squad this mission. I think I'll keep uh, Darwin with us as Grenadier. Alright. We have so many wounded that we might have to actually take this. Uh, especially our specialists are a bit low. We don't uh, have any any specialist that isn't wounded. Yeah, this is it, right? So I guess we are going to take uh, those uh, extra sharpshooters after all. And we might actually have to take one of uh, the rookies with us. Let's take uh, Lavo Lavo's here. Here. And let's... Uh, Give him uh, me. Hmm. I'm tempted to make uh, my books uh, to have uh, that skull sack here. But can I give uh, you anything here? All right. Can I actually make those items? They would be really useful. Can I afford to make them? I can't afford to make, to make magnetic rifle, but... Hmm. These pistols uh, would be useful, but... Uh, I'm also tempted to make uh, this sword gun. Let's just make a pistol first. Anything else we could use? No, just this pistol. So our sharp shooters can be a bit more useful here. Mm. 
Yeah, you... You take uh, that skull, Jack. We're... Uh, if we're lucky, we're going to get more intel with this. So... That's our squad this time. Let's just head out. Sky Ranger deploy. Squad green to deploy. Remote reconnaissance picked up heavy comms traffic from alien forces moving to attack a resistance outpost in this region. And we're the only ones with any chance of stopping them. We're heading in to lock down the area. Neutralize all hostile contacts with extreme prejudice. Operation Star Speed. Stop Advent Retaliation. Last time uh, that retaliation mission uh, went uh, well. Not well. Menace 1 5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Well, looks like we're starting from high ground, so that's good for our snipers, but. How, how much we can afford to keep them uh, at back? We shall see. I kind of want to rush over there with Lavos here, but uh, I don't think that's going to be a smart choice. But we don't really have much time here either. Let's get the Darwin down there. Good to go. We might actually be able to move all of them here. I think I'll move uh, Da Vinci towards uh, over from here. And uh, this building uh, complex uh, here worries me. Roger! Forze Advent avvistate! Well, that wasn't good. You got uh, that lining hands. 70% chance uh, to take out that trooper. It wouldn't be hitting us uh, then. So, take it. 75% chance, and you missed. Well, uh, could have it been uh, even uh, first miss. Da Vinci... No, not Da Vinci, but um, Darwin is luckily so far away that uh, he's not uh, actually in uh, flanked, at least uh, by these enemies for some odd reason, but if they move her, he will be. Another uh, pistol fire. Target neutralized. Now, how to deal with that Viper? Uh, 
Hypox is just slightly too far away for him to slash with his uh, sword. And uh, I don't want to really waste uh, up uh, this uh, grenade for just one person. But uh, I might have to here. Let's just move leaving a hole closer first. Okay, je me dirige vers la cible. And decide what to do after that. We can actually use Lavos here's uh, weapon either. Everyone else is a bit too far away to be useful here. Okay. Maybe we move uh, him uh, over here. And hope to not trigger anything here. I'm going to regret this move. Or maybe not. Alright, I also switch out uh, his... Uh, uh, live and learn, live and learn. I might actually have to face this uh, one grenade. To force uh, that wiper to move. And uh, if we're lucky, Kaipax can uh, get it uh, with Overwatch if he comes up. Corey Washington. We're seeing heavy civilian casualties. Interesting name. We have to stop this. It was one, it just one casualty so far. Good work. I knew you could be trusted there. Good riddance. Anyone inside? None that we can actually see yet. Let's start with uh, Darwin. Rescuing this civilian here. What's over there? Go on, get out of here. And uh, even though I kind of want to go and uh, rescue him too, it could be one of those uh, faceless creatures we met. But on the other hand, I still got the rest of the squad. Uh, to back him up if uh, that actually turns out to be one. So let's just go. I guess that'll be okay. Come on, hustle! It wasn't, luckily. <laughs> then Lavos here can uh, go over. over where? Should we actually move him inside? There seems to be one uh, civilian over there. And one inside here. We need the four of them uh, to be saved.
Yeah, let's uh, actually let's um, move Lavo here over here. We still haven't uh, yet uh, found another group, so we can uh, take a bit uh, more risky mu moves here. Kai books, uh, you go on that full cover there. And leave and hold. You can uh, go on that half cover. C'est tout bon. And I'll be moving. Or should I actually move Copernicus yet? If we could uh, get uh, him and Da Vinci up there, that would be better place for them to watch, watch out uh, for enemies. But hmm. I'm not really liking that idea of mine. So I'll just uh, leave uh, them both off uh, on uh, Overwatch. This reach until the uh, rest of uh, my squad can uh, clear up that building. Rest in peace, Mikey Ward. Lavos here, you can uh, go and uh, rescue that civilian, and you can uh, then uh, retreat if it, uh, if it turns out to be faceless. Luckily, it wasn't. There's two over there, but you're you're not in a very good position now, so. I'll think I'll move you on this corner here. Affirmative, Chive. And Darwin. Maybe not yet moving you. Let's move uh, Kaifax over behind those. Advent forces on the ground. Wheels, and we found uh, one group. That's not uh, too bad. I think I can. Uh, yeah, I can uh, hit them both, all from here. So all uh, all are uh, just uh, troopers. Not too bad. Take that uh, first shot. Copernicus. And because that was that was your first uh, kill, you you can still move here this turn. I could actually start moving you and Da Vinci closer now. I think. Yeah, you go over there. And then... Da Vinci. Hmm. How does this uh, kill zone work? Ah! This could... Uh, be really useful. And they are both inside it. But it would end our turn. And I think uh, we better uh, just take this uh, shot first. Instead 
instead of uh, just uh, leaving him overwatching them. Yeah. It's only 55% chance. But it was worth it. Piaciuto. And if I move him slightly. Trying to inch myself closer to this edge. Yeah, move over there. Fare. Next we move uh, Darwin over here. If you say so. And can you reach uh, that last one? No, you can't. So you go on just over once. Covering now. Sixteen percent chance. Way too low. Way too. Low. Just on our overwatch. And leave and hole. That's only half cover, but uh, we might be able to get the. Uh, mm, that's still quite low. But you still have that frag and it reaches him, so that's one oh, less enemy it. to worry about. And we got uh, several grenades left on uh, Darwin, so I don't have to worry about that. Svetlana Sidorova died there. And uh, based on that, uh, right, Commander, we need to get these people out of here. Based on that uh, beam, I'm guessing it, it was sectoid. I'm uh, tempted to dash over there, but uh, it would be wool hardy to do that. That long dash. So let's okay, just move uh, slowly. The resistance has done everything it can to convince people to join the cause. But it's an uphill battle when you've got Advent whispering propaganda in your ear 24 hours a day. Darwin, go and rescue that uh, civilian. You're clear. Move out. We need just uh, three more of them. I'm not sure if I want to risk that move there. But I need to get the. Uh, my sharpshooters uh, on top of this building. So let's just rust them in at the end of this turn. But before that, we are going to move uh, the rest of our guys. That's affirmative. And leave and hope. I, I'm actually going to. Or am I actually going to rush you? I'm going to rush you, but uh, not next to that civilian in case that it turns out to be faceless. 
<coughs> and uh, Lavos here can uh, go on over, but uh, over there. But uh, now let's move our sharp shooters closer. Copernicus can go Step right next to Da Vinci. And Darwin uh, can move over uh, there. Okay, I'll go. And uh, Kai puts on overwatch and uh, Lavos here uh, on overwatch too. Oh no! I didn't want to encounter Muton here. Yeah, I'm not uh, really liking this. Hello! I was kind of lucky that they didn't do anything there, but not so lucky considering where my rest of my squad is. So I can't really get them uh, up here in time. It's going to take at least one. Uh, turn for them to be ready to shoot at those. So... That means you move over there. And... Copernicus... You move... Uh, over there. I could move him uh, here, but uh, he would be quite exposed to in here. Yeah, I'm going to I'm keep him a little bit back, even if that's uh, only half cover, because that too is half cover there. Not very good hit chances there. But I can move him here. And then uh, grenade those. If you say so. Oh. Why you only just now changed? Let's see. We can't actually hit them all, but we could uh, take out uh, those two troopers, but that would also mean uh, that... Uh... Hmm. Let me think about this. Considering that Faceless uh, just appeared here. How big explosion uh, those barrels would cause? Considering uh, Copernicus was so close to that uh, faceless there, but we could uh, take it out quite easily. Should I risk it? I don't think so. I'm going to see how powerful your sword strike from here would be. That would leave you on a good cover. 
but first let's let's uh, soften him up with the uh, leave and hole. And now, if uh, Kaipax can uh, hit uh, him uh, with uh, that sword, that's a uh, raceless dealt with. Great. Taken care of. And now. I think I'll go with that uh, plan of uh, taking out those uh, troopers, even if uh, that leaves uh, that mutant uh, completely free to work uh, from uh, behind the tree, still uh, I think uh, that's uh, our best uh, bet here. That would mean uh, two less uh, people to shoot at us. Take this. And now, leave and hole. Hey, I mean, uh, Lavos here. Can I get him uh, to flank that? Not really. He's in quite good position, especially with this. Uh, without this civilian here, I could uh, flank him a bit easier. But uh, for uh, this situation, uh, that's not really an option. I'm uh, going to move him a bit back uh, behind this full cover and then take that shot. Or maybe not, it's only 26% chance to hit. And uh, it has uh, that uh, piece of armor. So I think I rather go on Overwatch. I was here. And you missed. I shouldn't be surprised about that. Don't die, don't die, don't. Oh! Just one hit point. Just one hit point. That could have ended quite badly could have ended really badly. But that, that uh, also leaves uh, that uh, mutant vulnerable for my snipers. Take a uh, lightning hand sort of. And base pistol sort too. Then we move uh, Da Vinci up there. And lightning hands from here. Son una bomba. That's a uh, that uh, dealt with. And there's uh, another faceless. I only thought there was going to be just one of uh, them. Yeah, I'm going to get the uh, five box uh, closer. Sixty-four percent chance. Yeah. Take it. Good hit. Good hit. Let's see if we can uh, get uh, him uh, with leave and hole. Although 
although he's quite far away to do that. So let's just move him uh, over there and put him on Overwatch because uh, he is definitely going to come to towards us. And going to move Darwin over here and uh, shoot at that faceless and then uh, if uh, he Misses, I'm going to move Lavos here and heal Darwin. Well, that was uh, good work. That's it. Menace one five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Well, that went uh, much better than the first retaliation uh, mission we had. And only six turns. What nice. Quite nice. Great work uh, for uh, not the most uh, optimal squad. Darwin looks so full of uh, himself there. I kind of like it. Impressive work, Commander. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit him. Welcome home, everyone. Let's see. Leave and home. What do I want to do with you? Hmm. I think I'll go with uh, demolition with uh, you. Because even though I kind of like this suppression, but uh, getting rid of uh, enemy's cover is uh, also quite important. Then, what uh, became of uh, Lavos here? Oh, he became a ranger. I'm kind of surprised about that. Oh well, I did uh, use him uh, as a frontline, even if I gave him uh, that medkit. And what about... Uh, Skybox. I'm still uh, thinking of uh, keeping going uh, through this assault uh, route and make him a uh, close and personal blade master. No triggering overwatch or reaction fire. I could have used that on Isaac. Oh well. And that's uh, everyone that got promotions. And we got mutant corps uh, to study. And mutant autopsy, like I said. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive nice, 27. Work more supplies. Well, I think uh, that's a good place to end this episode. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.